Happy Sunday. Anthony here with Custom Fit Rain Gutters. And today, what I wanted to talk about was seamless versus sectional gutters. Um, if you don't know anything about gutters, it's a little you know confusing on where to start. There's a lot of different types, different sizes, different materials. So today, what I want to talk about was the two main types of gutters, okay? So if you've decided, hey, I need some rain gutters, you're going to come across two different types. So the one is going to be a sectional gutter, which is something that you could buy at a store. And a seamless gutter is actually a gutter that's formed on site, typically by a gutter installation company like our company, Custom Fit Rain Gutters. So again, my name is Anthony with Custom Fit Rain Gutters. Today, we're going to talk about seamless versus sectional gutters. So what is a seamless gutter? So a seamless gutter is a continuous gutter. Simply put, it's a gutter without seams. So it's made custom fit to the length of the area that needs to be guttered. So if you have a section that's about 30 feet long, it would just be one piece that's 30 feet long. Okay, so now what is a sectional gutter? Well, a sectional gutter are gutters that are made in sections. So if you go to buy them at the store, like any of the home improvement stores, you'll typically find them in about 10 foot sections. So each section is then joined together by what they call seamers in the gutter industry and the manufacturers that we use, they usually call those slip joint connectors or splicers. So basically what those splicers do is if you have, let's say you have a 20 foot gutter and you're using two sections, well, you'll have a, a seamer or a splicer in the middle, which connects the two gutters together. So here's an example of a house uh, that we actually estimated and then guttered. So as you can see on the back of the house, this piece is, you know, it's roughly 50 linear feet. Um, and what you'll see is the red line underneath the 50 foot length in yellow is what the seamless gutter would be. So it'd be one piece that's 50 feet long. So now if you were going to do a sectional gutter, as you can see, what I do is I have it broken up. And if it's a 50 linear foot piece, it's going to be five, 10 foot sections. So as you can see in orange, one, two, three, four, five. So that'd be, it'd take five sections of sectional gutter to actually gutter that 50 foot length. So now what that means is you're also going to have four seams. So in between the one and two, the two to three, the three to four, and the four to five, you'll actually have those seamers that join the gutters together. So, and here's kind of like, I'm not like, at the end of the day, whatever you can do to protect your house from rainwater is going to be the best situation for you. Um, as a seamless gutter installer, I'm probably biased to tell you that seamless gutter is better. But basically, what's going to happen is this. So let's say you got a crazy guy up on your roof pouring water down when, you know, when it rains. <laughs> and so if you have a seamless gutter, which is just kind of what's shown right here in the example, all that water is going to be carried continuously to the downspout. So the gutter is going to be sloped in the direction towards the two downspouts, which I basically have in blue. On a piece of about 50 feet like this, especially with the style of roof and how uh, steep it is, how much pitch is there, you're likely going to need the two downspouts. So now if you have a seamless gutter, let's go back to this last slide. You know, every, every place where there's a seam, you're going to have an opportunity for water to leak out. And I'm not saying that's the case. Maybe you like whoever did the, if you use the seams and you do it properly and you have it sealed properly, you know, you should get most of the water to the downspout. But odds are over time, you know, those seamed areas are just going to be opportunities for water to leak out. So if you're trying to go 30, 40, 50 feet before you get to the downspout, you know, you've got to understand that you've got two, three, you know, there's between two and three seams that you're going to have to go through and hopefully the water gets to the downspout. So again, uh, this is just a quick video talking about the difference between seam and sectional gutters. Uh, my name is Anthony with Custom Fit Rain Gutters. We're a family-owned gutter installation company in Baldwin County, Alabama. Um, if you want to learn more about different gutters that we carry, different sizes, different pricing, uh, you can go ahead and visit our website at customfitraingutters.com or check out our YouTube channel. Uh, you can get there by just searching for Custom Fit Rain Gutters. Have a great Sunday. Thanks.